Hello friends. So uh, today I have two boxes of ammunition that's similar but not really that similar uh, from Fiocchi. Uh, fun little side note. Uh, one of the founders of Fiocchi or the family is sitting in the European Parliament fighting for gun rights. Uh, that's a good thing. Anyway, so first package of uh, 5.7 by 28 for the FNP 90 or other firearms in that caliber and it's ball SS 190 then I have a slightly smaller diameter also from Fiocchi uh, 4.6 by 30 millimeter uh, ZP whatever that means it's regular full metal jacket 40 grains or about 2.7 grams or 2.6 grams whatever around there so these are these kind of look similar, except uh, the P90 has a little bit fatter bullet. Both looks look like tiny little little rifle rounds, right? Let's uh, let's try to figure out what this is. So, so the the Ekran Koch one, the little a little bit thinner one. <laughs> it's uh, it's a regular full metal jacket, uh, and it has some kind of PBSB alloy core copper plated steel jacket it goes around 600 meters per second and that's about 2000 feet per second and th this is for the mp7 as far as i know there isn't that many other firearms except the mp7 the heckling cock little submachine gun uh, that uses this i of course don't have any of these weapons i just collect ammunition so that's why i have boxes of them one each and nothing else you can't buy less than one box so i have one box this ammunition is optimized for energy transfer in soft targets and offer good penetration and it has a g1 ballistic coefficient of 1.71 to oh no 0.171 to 0 0.187 which is, I guess, okay, but this isn't any, in any way, shape or form, long range ammunition. So 200 meters, that's about the max effective range on this. So it's a submachine gun. They designed these to be able to penetrate soft body armor. Not that anyone ever uses soft body armor. People have, enemies have plates on them that will defeat these rounds effortlessly. So, so it's very hard to get information from Fiocchi about these because you have to log in to their homepage and have some kind of military access account to, to even see that they sell these uh, calibers. But the duty round is apparently the SS-190 limited risk aluminium core projectile, whatever that means. Let's try to figure out what the performance of the 5.7 by 28 is. The SS-190 is apparently supposed to be AP ammunition, but perhaps that's a, some kind of definition thing because it's meant to be able to pen soft body armor. Anyway, so the SS-190 supposedly has an exit velocity of 716 meters per second or 2350 feet per second. So marginally faster than this ammunition, even though it has a, a thicker bullet. Let's see here. What, what is the bullet weight of this? Do they, don't they say on it? Uh, so usually boxes for mil ammo it's just a white sticker with black text with a lot number and what it is on it this has a little bit more warning text on it i don't know why let's see here what, what is the bullet weight so the ss 190 has a 31 grain bullet while this has a 40 grain bullet so the thicker bullet is lighter than and then the HK thinner bullet. I'm guessing it's because of the aluminium core. Aluminium is not as heavy as lead, I guess. But this supposedly has some kind of alloy core in it. PBSB alloy core. These rounds came about in the early 90s, at least uh, the 5.7 by 28. Then a couple of years later, HK came out with their, theirs and uh, apparently militaries are filled with hk snobs because uh, the mp7 sold better than the p90 as far as i know but yeah it's a, it's a fun bit of, of uh, firearms history since i can't own the firearms to fire these i can at least admire the fancy ammunition 
so I have uh, have a little collection of all kinds of different rounds. These are among those, and they are fun little things. Okay, hope you enjoyed a short little video about this topic. <laughs>